thought I'd start out this morning here in our nursery, reminding us that on a typical Sunday, this is where our most precious cargo is to be found, those baby souls that parents are trusting our church to help grow into believers that are going to follow Jesus someday. But I also wanted you to come down here because I wanted us to think together about the concept of big. You know, to a baby, a grown-up man is a big thing. But to a man, a mountain is big. To a mountain, a planet is big. To the planet, a solar system is big. To the solar system, a galaxy, and then a universe, and on and on. It seems as though in anything you think about, there's always something bigger than the biggest thing you can imagine, except when it comes to God's love for you. Listen to what the Bible says in Ephesians, beginning with verse 17, where he says that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith and that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ which passes understanding, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The love of Christ which passes understanding. You know, there are times in our lives when we wonder, could God really love me that much? Maybe because we remember the ways that we failed him. Maybe we are recounting the sins that we've committed. Maybe there's even something going on in our life right now and we think God could never love somebody like me. But here's the great news. The Bible says God's love passes understanding. That when you belong to Jesus, his love is so high and so deep and so wide that you'll never find the edges of it. And today, you are especially in his thoughts and on his mind. He loves you more than you could possibly imagine. What is the biggest thing you can think of today? Well, let me tell you this. His love is so much bigger than anything you can imagine. So let's pray and thank him for his love. Father, we thank you that you love us that much. Lord, we recognize that sometimes we don't deserve your love. And often we haven't earned your love in any way. But Lord, none of that limits the amazing compassion, mercy, grace, and strength of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who reaches out to his own and lifts us up. And Lord, thank you that today, each one of us are especially in your heart. And our lives are on, in your hands. And we can trust you for your amazing, big love. And I pray in Jesus' name, amen.